Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel, this time for Dave the Diver. On the previous episode we had quite a lot of events. We had the first nighttime fishing event and we were able to also help provide some medicine for the sea people. So hopefully we're going to be able to interact with them in future and now we have some more things which we will need to do. So we have the coral porridge, which we will need to provide for them in order to help out with the medication. And we will have the jellyfish event as well. Also, we started to receive, or we were granted access to the fish school. So we are now able to have our own fish farm, which should allow me to therefore be able to start growing my own fish and hopefully if I'll be able to get my hands on some cool species, that should allow me to, in return, be able to, you know, have access to certain species on a steady base. So, I was hoping that we can go and potentially try to upgrade the uh, fishing net, but apparently, or the medium net gun, but apparently I still require additional rope. So money-wise, we are fairly good. We have like four grand, which is absolutely amazing. I will need only 600 gold, so that's okay, but I really need to do something with that rope. So that's gonna have to wait. And also I should take a look at more fragments because if I'll try to upgrade any of the additional weapons, I, which I'm quite sure I will have to, I will need probably fragments as well. Uh, yeah, fragments, fragments, and also some specialized resources. Fragments, copper ore is fine, gold, yeah, so underwater rifle tier 2, yeah. So definitely I'll have to go and fetch me more of those specialized resources. Uh, Marinka, we are still collecting new cards. But it's gonna be a little tricky, I'm quite sure I will be forced to potentially upgrade the net gun in order for me to catch these species in better quality because if I want to get the golden card, I will actually have to catch them alive. So there's that. I'm not really sure what the hell will I have to do in order to capture a live tiger shark, but we're gonna see. Now, I have noticed some uh, patch notes and everything in the game. I'm hoping I will not have some major issues because it's just going to be so problematic. But uh, yeah, hopefully everything's going to work out. So yeah, let's take a look if we can get something with the eye diver. Uh, oxygen level for 750, sure. <laughs> And uh, let's see, uh, diving suit increases the depth. I really want to go for the additional cargo capacity. Uh, it's absolutely essential. I still have the 600 that I require for the net gun upgrade. And plus today we have the event. So I'm hoping that if I'll be able to capture more jellyfish, I'll be able to prepare dishes with them and that should allow me to therefore weaken or rake in more profits. So with that all said, let's jump in and see what productive day we will have. Bonito. Okay, interesting. Almost looks like some sort of mackerel. Uh, it wasn't rope. Was it rope? I'm not sure right now. So 94 kilos, that's pretty damn awesome. And also now we should have access to a net and that net should allow me to like capture some of these new species. So with that said, I'm hoping I'll be able to start capturing all the shrimp that I see floating around, which would be actually quite nice. I haven't even checked honestly if there are Certain things which I need for the biology app. So we're gonna have to mess around with that. And I do wonder if there will be a potential upgrade for the melee weapon as well. I don't really want to swap out the weapon right now. The one that I have is perfectly fine. 
there's some ammunition. Okay, let's see the mallets to beat whatever into coma. I still don't know how the heck to get the sea urchin. Still don't know how to do this. Can we get the bigger fish? No, we cannot get the bigger fish uh, without upgrades on our red gun. Let's start harvesting some meat. We have the 94 kilos. Now, it seems like it's a lot, but honestly, once you start picking up certain species of fish, the, the weight is just gonna go up and up, and all of a sudden you're like, well, holy crap, my carrying capacity is completely gone, what just happened? And all you did was just grab a few things. Okay, I seriously wanna grab also these guys. So we have some shrimp finally. And shrimp is absolutely essential when it comes to like making tempura or something like that. some unnecessary damage but all it does is deplete the oxygen I need to take the kelp and the seaweed and all these fancy things I don't really see that much shrimp around which is most unfortunate but I really want to make sure that we're gonna be able to go and reach the sea people some casualties have acquired in the process of making the sushi but I think we can live with that that's the mackerel and that's actually quite decent fish to have the, the problem is now we don't have ammo and I would have to swim all the way up there where I saw the spare ammunition I really am gonna try to like maximize the uh, potential yield out of each dive and now we can do theoretically three dives per day because we have two during the daytime and one at nighttime but if we do the one at nighttime this affects how much time we have to serve the customers okay there's a tiger shark so i don't really want to mess around with that knucklehead oxygen tank is still holding steadily okay there's our ammo for the head gun I want to grab the seaweed and all these things because they are absolutely essential when it comes to making some of the dishes. Sure, I will require certain things like uh, miso and the uh, god knows what else. Sesame seeds. Uh, I will have to even find a way to obtain rice for certain dishes. Okay, that's the Nautilus, and I have no idea where to find the Cleone. If I'm even pronouncing it correctly, I think that's it. So that's one. I have to be careful here, because at the bottom, I tend to run into the problem as there's this species which likes to attack... And you see, it's this knucklehead over here. I'm gonna have to look for a flashlight. Please will not try to attack me this time. Yeah. That's what I was kind of afraid of. Uh, we're gonna have to rotate to the flashlight. And I need to find a way down. They keep kind of uh, rearranging these things on me, so I have an even a situation where I was forced to take the escape pod out of the water because I just got so lost that I could not find a way out. It was really unfortunate. I have no idea what the rubber chicken does, but I'll keep the sword, probably. Or, 
I probably don't want to deal with a tiger shark using a goddamn rubber chicken. I really want to capture that fish because it's worth a lot when it's turned into sushi. And I would need a pickaxe in order to tap into that mineral. Pickaxe has been obtained. Problem is, yeah, if they drop... The stupid thing right on top of that knucklehead. That's just most unfortunate thing. Uh, 39. Okay, so we have like 40 kilos. Uh, do I want to use the... Yeah, let's do this. Swap out. Come on, Dave. Okay, hopefully this is the right way. And if I provide them with the porridge, that should cure this person or sea person. Here I brought some coral porridge. Oh. oh, you really brought it. Seems to be right. This is coral porridge. I prepared it myself. Liar. Phew, I feel much better. Can't remember anything after seeing squid tentacles. Oh, a human. What is a human doing here? Well, you could say I saved you. I defeated the giant squid and brought you the coral porridge. Hmm, is that so? Wait, Ramo, that's not it. I'm actually the one who... All right then, human. You shall escort me back to my village. Me? Why should I? Um, an injured lady. You need to keep anything dangerous from happening. Ramo, I can escort you to... Suwon? You go ahead and scout out a path. What? How could you let a human escort you? I can keep you safe and... You haven't even passed the village tactics exam. It was tough enough coming here. Oh. Uh, that's a sore spot for me. Swamp, stop complaining and be our lookout for the path ahead. It's for you, human. You'll have to carry me on your back. Mm. On my back? It's hard enough to move around it as it is down here. Oh, my injured fin is hurting again. You are impossible. I'll take you to the village and no further. Oh, right? Well, this is gonna be tricky. Get to the target location safely with Ramo on your back. Ramo has the ability to open up to warm path, which uh, your surrounding carefully and escort her. Oh, this is gonna be tricky as hell. Oh my god, I have to keep holding this damn thing? Am I gonna be able to use the flashlight? I'm not able to use the flashlight now. So... Oh, so she herself is able to deal with the tomb worms. That's awesome. Uh, so he is over there. I don't know if I need to collect the damn golden starfish right now. I haven't really done much scouting. Good, follow along. Make sure Bramo isn't hurt. How are they able to do this? I want to learn that. All I have to do is use a goddamn UV flashlight and they're able to do this. You have to be careful in order for her to not get injured even more. Yeah, I want to grab you, buddy, but I, I think I'll have to pass this time. Now I don't know where to go. Okay, he's over there. I have to watch out for predatory species. Ooh. 
What is this vibration? It's rare to experience one so strong. Did something happen to the village? We must return. Quick, hurry, human. Have to be careful because there is this shark. And there's no chance in hell I can fight him or this giant crab. Crap. I think they know I'm- Oh shit! Shit 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 shit! Oh crap, that's bad. Okay, we're done. What the fudge? What was that? That's some bullshit! Okay. Hey, uh, now human, don't tell me you're tired already. Bring her carefully. This thing is gonna eat her now! I don't have even the oxygen to do this! Okay, I, I have to do something stupid and risky and I don't like it one bit. But in order for me to survive this... I, yeah, I had to, but I had no other choice. I had to. But holy crap, that thing was able to inhale us and just like two, three chomps and that's it. The entire HP pool is gone. That's not awesome. Okay, these jellyfish are dangerous because I think they detonate. I'm gonna have to deal with these knuckleheads. So that's why I wanted to do this. Just to be on the safe side. One more hit and she's gone. Great run so far. Great run. Mature professional walkthroughs is truly the right name for this channel. <laughs> God damn it. Now I have had the instance of running into this ghost shark. And it really did not seem to be aggressive. So I don't know if it's like a special event species or something. But yeah, we're, we're gonna try to go through here. Crap, this is not good. Oh, okay. Well, I was still hoping to harvest the jellyfish. But as long as she's still alive, barely, I think I got her injured even more than she was before. We're reaching critical death, so I'll definitely have to make sure. even the diving suit I don't know probably stronger latex or something I, I, I'm not sure what to tell you Ramo this our path is blocked with rock oh no what's going on uh, it must have been the vibrations earlier Swamp think of something I need to get back quickly before my father scolds me even more mm. Maybe we can open up a path by dropping those loose rock piles over there. If we can topple it and make it fall, it might just do the trick. Well, I suppose it might work. How do we make the rocks fall, though? Hmm, I see a stake over there. Maybe if we pull it out. Human, you can pull that out. Go do it. The stake? I think I'll hurt my hands with the gloves I'm wearing. I could probably do it with gloves that are thicker and offer a better grip. Dave, my apologies. I left the microphone on because I was dying to know what you were talking about. If it's enhanced diving gloves you need, I think my lab could help you out. Mmm, new gloves. <laughs> Equipment goes hand in hand with exploration, does it not? Come up to the boat! I think there must be a way. 
Could you wait here for a moment? Oh. Hold it, human. You plan to leave Ramo in a dangerous place like this? Oh. Luckily, she has me guarding her. Still, be back quick. So, technically speaking, we can use this as the uh, point from which we will get, like, rescued. Although, the problem here is that if you topple this on top of that rubble, what can end up happening, if it doesn't work out, is that you will have even more crap blocking your path. So, I'm not really sure how much thought did that guy put into that plan, but okay. I guess we will just go with it. I would really love to be able to get more stuff since I'm down here. Okay, that's a new species. Seems to be Predator as well. Because that ensures me that I'll have access to... Some additional ingredients. Let's get some oxygen. Problem is, I don't know if I can get the hell out of here through this way. Are me so. It's a lot of jellyfish crap. Uh, I don't have the pickaxe anymore, so I cannot really. Yeah, crap, I'll have to come back here. Okay, so this is gonna give me oxygen. This is gonna give me oxygen too. I don't have... Uh, I'll have to probably use the damn uh, rescue pod in order to get the fudge out of here. So unfortunately, my inventory is not utilized the way I would like it to. If I can still gather some of the jellyfish, though... It won't be in the same quality, and I cannot even capture these knuckleheads, probably. I require three hits. But that gives me much lower quality of... ...meat, or, well, jelly, I guess. Let's go get that rescue pot. Now we are even overcumbered. So I guess I have achieved what I wanted to. And if I go to the surface, I should be able to get the medium net gun. Now I do wonder how that's gonna affect things for me. And if I'll need to bring some specialized stuff in order to be able to craft it, because usually there's some sort of requirement but that needs to be fulfilled, like you need to bring some resources or something needs to happen. So it's a fetch quest after fetch quest. You know how it is. Okay, let's get this escape pod on the way, and I'll definitely have to do something with the uh, suit, but um, unfortunately I don't think I'll be able to afford it. 
So that sucks. Hmm, the road back to Sea People Village, huh? How fascinating. My lab has developed some diving gloves to be used for retrieving artifacts. I see, that should let me pull out a stick without any hand slipping, right? Haha, <laughs> of course, it has various safety measures built in that will let you move many other objects besides sticks. Uh, the long dive must have been tiring. Get some rest, I'll explain the details tomorrow. I'll come to the boat tomorrow morning. So that's not good, because that means that I will not be able to uh, go and deliver what needs to be delivered to them. So that sucks. I was able to pull out quite a lot of stuff. Uh, so Spanish mackerel is probably the best thing. Big belly seahorse. Small spotted dart. Uh, Pacific Seahorse, White Legged Shrimp. Uh, we have the Nautilus, Fangtooth. The pet, the Pacific Fanfish alone is amazing. I mean, level two, and it is valued at 84. So that's ridiculous by itself. Uh, salmon, snailfish, comb jelly. Okay. And then there's the shark. And I have small spotted dark row. Black and white snapper row. Black and white snapper. Black and white snapper is this. Titan uh, trigger fish. A Spanish mackerel. Uh, big eye scat row. Fang tooth row. Pacific fan fish. That's awesome. Uh, I would need to have two in order for them to potentially, uh, like, ooh, wow, okay, well, the question is if we actually go to the fish farm. Uh, the question is if I'll be able to already put in some of these species. Uh -huh. Or what do I need to do in order to actually unlock the additional depth? Uh -huh. I don't want to skip. Uh -huh. I told you about density before, uh -huh. right? You can't put in any more fish in the density reaches 100%, so keep that in mind. Okay, I'm kind of stuck now and I cannot move. Uh, uh -huh. Come on, just wait a D. Uh, D. Damn it, I have all this row and I cannot use it. That sucks. So I'll definitely try to participate during the entire event. Um Okay, so weapon shop, control, this guy, and oh come on! I could have sworn I picked up row, right? That is some bullshit. I picked up the guy. Uh, God damn it. Okay, fine. I'll go freaking hunt for stupid rope again. Damn it. Uh, okay, we caught some few more Pokemon. That's awesome. That's a lot of seahorse. Wow. Uh, what, what else? Okay. Yeah, we have the eel. We have even the sharks from night diving event. The reason why I don't want to go to night night diving is because we have the event where we have to uh, sell jellyfish. So that's why I also am trying to capture as many as I potentially can. Uh, one more thing. Yeah, I'll need one grand in order to upgrade the suit. Great. Uh, we can theoretically try to go and capture the Cleone. Uh, so two more. Okay, there's rope right over here. And I think that's a new seahorse. 
and if I'll get the new gloves, theoretically, that just might be what I need in order to pick up the sea urchin. Sesame seed, awesome. So I feel like we're again starting off at the same spot. I really wish it would be a little bit more randomized and stuff, but... Uh, I'm already... Dealing with quite a lot of things. So I'll go for the jellyfish. Is there ammo somewhere in here? There's ammunition over there. Okay, uh, baseball bat. I think I have that for the first time ever. Don't really want the lionfish. Sorry. So once I break, like, the visual contact, it should no longer be able to follow me. There's some stupid rope. Sea urchin, I cannot deal with... I want to get these two together. Uh, that would be more efficient use of the ammo. Because if I'll be able to get some of these species... Careful with the urchin. I don't really want to deal with that knucklehead. Let's go for the shrimp. There's some seaweed or kelp. Dog. Okay. Bang stick. Might be interesting. Might theoretically even paralyze the fish. Which would be fun. And I really love the fact that they put in so much thought into all these little aspects and details that you have to kind of work out. In order for you to get the sea urchin, you need this in order for you to capture some species. You need to go night diving. In order for you to do god knows what else, you will have to, I don't know, deal with the kraken and things of such nature. It's, it's absolutely hilarious, but it, it, it's so fresh and so creative, I, I just love it. I think that's a new... Ooh, tiger shrimp, nice. Unfortunately, right now we are lacking the indicator as to where I need to go. I would be able to capture those knuckleheads, but they would be grouped up slightly better. Nice! Two mackerels. But, uh, I won't be able to capture this guy. Yeah, uh, I need the medium net gun. That's the temple, I don't need to deal with that. Ah, crap, tiger. Theoretically, if I would have a different weapon, I can deal with that knucklehead, but... Yeah, I would need a different weapon. Bufferfish... I, I want him to deflate. Because then we can do this. And then I can restock on ammo. I'm not really sure what's gonna be in here. I know it's not a food ingredient. Okay, I'll take the scooter. I think this is like a brand new model. So, so far I know that there's the yellow one which lasts the shortest and there's some red one. And this is some modified red version, I think. Uh, so the objective here is to try and capture the, the weird species whose name I totally forgot. 
Uh, we can do this. Pick up the oxygen. There is our first. Yeah, I, 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 I see you. I just need one more. I should look around more. Whoa. That's a, that, that's a big one. Just now, did I see a huge Cleone? I'm not sure if that's going to be some sort of boss battle. I do see that there is... Uh... Phew, hold on. Should I go back up now? got sucked in and the problem is I have a net gun if I'll have a boss fight and I'll have to use a net gun this is not gonna work out what is this place such a big Cleon Cleon Queen okay potential thumbnail I probably won't get away without a fight. So whatever, let's defeat it first. I need a different weapon. Oh, come on, Knucklehead. Knock it off. gonna suck I can tell you that right now I kind of wasted that ammo okay almost got hit There's anything useful to pick up? Of course. Probably Boncho is gonna be able to make some crazy sushi out of this. Huh, I see something shiny over there. I should go have a look. I think this might be the traumatized girl's photo. So maybe it really did, did eat her dad. <coughs> A photo of Monkey. Mm. I'll have to take it back up. Ah, crap. So that means I, I won't be able to stay longer in here. Disappointed! Leon Queen. Wow, 999 centimeters. Impressive. Big uh, belly seahorse barrel jellyfish. Yeah, you see that the quality even at level five is absolute trash Small spotted dark red to the trigger fish White leg shrimp Pacific seahorse black tiger shrimp level one is 50 so if you don't know the black tiger shrimp is usually one frequently used in restaurants it's a decently sized shrimp and it's supposed to be really tasty. I don't know because I don't live in country which has access to them. That's what happens if you don't have any oceans, just lakes and rivers. You, you have to rely on a lot of bacon. <laughs> 
Okay, well, white black shrimp, black tiger shrimp row. Okay, so we have row for the shrimp. <coughs> I'll just have to wait for the next day, potentially, in order to maximize it somehow. Wrap up your day and get things ready for Banjo Sushi. Uh, okay, so now my question is, can I go in here and finally get the stupid upgrade? Of course, now I can do it. Uh, medium net gun. Crafting uh, this uh, derivative weapon will cause the weapon enlisted materials to vanish. Depending on weapon characteristics, the stats, licensed weapons may not be preserved. Magazine 4. Capture 7 fish at the same time. Uh, sure, let's do. I'm not really sure why this. Okay, it is what it is. We have the medium gun. Man Book Pro. Wow. Okay, uh, let's go sushi time. So we have the jellyfish event. So hopefully all the jellyfish, which I was able to acquire in the past few days, will have some sort of benefit. Here, a Cleon, like you asked. <laughs> It's so beautiful. Thank you, Dave. And I found this. Huh? Is that a photo of me? There was a huge Cleo. I found this in its home. There's a button on the back. I'll try pressing it. They have like a tragic cinematic for everything. Wow. Maki, it's your father. If you're watching this, then I probably failed my expedition. I couldn't really take care of you with my busy schedule. My greed for more work has turned me into irresponsible father. I haven't been able to make many friends because we kept moving around because of my work. Even so, I want you to forgive me for being a terrible father and live a confident life. And your dream of becoming a chef, I hope it comes true. I'll keep watching you from afar, so don't ever lose your smile. The tablet was not password protected? Mm. Interesting. Hmm, it seems to have cut off. <laughs> Don't be too upset. It seems her father really loved you, Maki. Please let me work here. Mm. What? So suddenly? <laughs> yeah, my father wouldn't like to see me so lethargic and sad. I want to show him that I'm doing fine and working hard. And as you showed concern for me and helped me, I'd like to help you as well. Mm. Oh, Pancho, what do you think? Mm. Mm. What a spirited child. I like her. <laughs> you can start working here today, but you won't be getting any special treatment. Okay, I'll work hard to earn and become an amazing chef. Okay. Question is, what are her stats? Ah. Uh, I still don't know how the heck to deal with this. Uh, there's one more skill which is locked for her. We can add her. She is cooking 100, serving 14. Sure. Uh, ingredient prep master. Yeah, I will have to think of something to do with roll. Uh, that dude has amazing stats overall, but he did cost me quite a lot of cash. Uh, Kyoko was my first staff member. Dohaku is a great chef too. Has the best stats overall for cooking. Her procurement and appeal are just non-existent, but she's a scripted employee, so I don't have a choice. We are not opening bunch of sushi yet because uh, tentacles of Cleon Queen slice into bite-sized pieces. Okay. Uh, I don't have the necessary fire for that, so we'll have to wait for... Oh no, I can actually do this one because it only costs one point, so that's okay. So the Cleon Queen thingy is a thing. 
we have the event, so for me, what's gonna be important is making sure that we provide as many jellyfish dishes as we can. I do wonder if there's gonna be like a shark week. Like, like there's gonna be some Animal Planet event and we're gonna have to try and serve as many sharks as we can. That would be a fun thing to try and do. Okay, let's take a look at the menu to see what's actually available for us. Uh, Nautilus, uh, shark, salmon, snailfish. Uh, black tiger shrimp, white leg shrimp. We can enhance some of these dishes, but... Uh, White Trevally. Crap, I don't have salt. I don't have a lot of ingredients for the more advanced meals. I need rice for pufferfish special. I need salt for jellyfish special. Damn it! This one sucks. This this one for 292 would be a absolute killer. I bet. I bet it would work quite well in terms full. I haven't got any spotted jellyfish though, so that, that would suck. And I would have only one. Uh, comb jellyfish can be enhanced. So theoretically. Let's put five of these suckers on the menu. Oh, let's put these three. They even have like a different serving tray. I guess it's based on the depth at which the species can be acquired, maybe. I cannot enhance this more, so I'll serve it. Because of the event. Uh, so, so far we have three jellyfish meals. This thing is kajime and black vinegar. It's, it's not that well valued. And I would be probably pissed off if this would be the only thing which I would be able to eat. Uh, sure, let's enhance this sucker, although I've just used up all the fish. I don't really know what's gonna be the best seller. Let's put the white trevally combo here. A long snouted seahorse. We can enhance this. I don't know, we can put in seven. I'm really not raking in that much money. This barrel jellyfish sushi is absolutely not gonna make the bank for me. Uh, another jellyfish sushi and I don't know. Popper shark. Nautilus. Uh, I'm looking for something with really high value that I can sell a lot of. Atlantic mackerel. Tiger shrimp is at 50 already. This will burn through most of the supplies. I can guess upgrade some of these meals i will not be serving them so let's go i i don't know if i want to actually i can directly serve this sucker uh because it's like 84 gold per serving and I'm not really sure how the event, because the jellyfish and stuff is gonna happen, is gonna affect me. Uh, technically, the barrel jellyfish. If I were to swap it for some other meal where we have more servings, 
Would that be so bad? 1937, 65, 38, 34. I really uh, don't like the fact that I would need to keep in mind all the things which I would need in order for me to be able to provide some of these meals. Big eyes scared, like I would need to have a wiki opened or something. And I don't have control over the ingredients which I can salvage, so... Oh man, that sucks. One serving of a jellyfish is not gonna do jackpot for me. Uh, shark Trevally is 41 Would be able to surf quite a lot of this The Titan Trigger fish But if I keep it We have multiple servings of this It's just that it's lower value Than all the other meals But I think I think we're gonna go for it Let's do this. So jellyfish. Okay, let's see if I still remember how to pour tea. Nice. Here. That's good. I'll take it. And I'll have to go and get some wasabi. Crap. Oh, uh, let's beat this up. We need to go make wasabi. Okay, um. There we go. Crap. Okay, she's serving the beer. Um, really want to make sure that I do this correctly, but twenty percent is full. Crap. But she's gonna be able to deal better or serve better beer. So overall, I think we did quite well for the specialized event. And with the additional star, I'm hoping that that's gonna yield in something extra extra. Today's score is quite decent and you earned Artisan's Flame. Four of them. Great! Seems like the... I don't know, jellyfish people were happy. And Pacific Fanfish Sushi was the best seller, of course. Uh, well, it is what it is. <laughs> Dave, the fish in the farm yesterday, they multiply. Um. Hurry on over to the fish farm. Also, shouldn't Dr. Bacon be here? Um. I've marked the sections with new fish with hearts so they're easy to recognize. Um. Go and see for yourself. Um. Show details. Wow, the, myster uh, the mysteries of nature never cease to amaze me. Um. I'll tell you once the eggs hatch. Um. I'll mark them with hearts if fish have multiplied. Mm. Speaking of X, I'm reminded of my son who I haven't seen in a long time. You have a son? It was a windy and rainy day. I went too far out of my ship and the storm flipped my ship over. I haven't been able to go back to see my son since. Well, I didn't know that. Alright, I'll come by often to check. Thank you, Otto. I feel much less pressure to catch fish. Okay, so if you have two or more of the same kind of fish, there's a chance for a baby fish to be born. Uh, 
Okay. So we have shrimp, we have all sorts of things. When do I know that sell all, use all ingredients? Uh, okay. Show details. Atlantic mackerel, white super valley, black tiger shrimp, uh, big eyes cat, and narrow barrel mackerel. So these ones we don't have so many. I guess we can either sell them or gather all the ingredients out of them. But then that raises like the question of uh, what needs to happen or if you're gonna deplete the entire tank or the fish farm. Shop. Open area uh, 130 to 250 meter. Open area night, expand area 050, expand area 50 200. I think I'll go with this sucker. So we have a brand new one. And uh, we can directly go for the open area night time, but I haven't really gathered any eggs during night time, I think, so I will pass on that. And so it seems like I am starting to grow species, even sharks. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm dying to try this new uh, net gun. And I'm hoping that Dr. Bacon is going to show up with those damn gloves because he's supposed to be here this morning. Good guy, do good guy doctor. Here, these are special diving gloves, made in our research facility. With these, you'll be able to pick up various objects in the water. Why don't you test them out yourself? Enter the water! Uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, shit! I don't want to go into the water. I want to upgrade the damn suit. Let me go with the phone! I have 1,000 gold. I want to upgrade the diving suit. Ah. Damn it. The problem is, I'm not really sure how the depth of the village is going to affect things for me. And it might be that there's a scripted diving location for the event. Objects that can be picked up will show a button when you go near them. First try grabbing the pile of rocks over there and dropping them. That's weak wood, so you should be able to break through. What is that beeping noise? Wow, very nice. Let's try going down. Seriously, what is up with this beeping noise? Please don't tell me that's gonna be going on this whole damn time. Okay, that was weird. The girl's strong! Grab that anchor so it won't sweep you away! Good, you can grab onto objects like that to anchor yourself. They'll come in handy in places with strong currents. Oh, I see something shiny back there. Grab the stake in front of you and pull. Oh crap. Awesome! Since the path is open, grab the treasure up top before coming up. Okay, seriously, knock it off with the beeping. Alright, see you in the boat. So, hopefully I will still have the two diving sessions for today. Looks like Dr. Bacon left abruptly again after finishing his explanation. In any case, these diving gloves look like they could come in very handy. I heard that the sea people are waiting for you. Go down there and try pulling out the stake. Yeah, I'll do that right after this. So that we can go deeper. And it still seems like it's morning, so we should be A-OK -okay in that regard. Okay, here we have a lovely, lovely looking shark. And I bet now we can start collecting sea urchins. I just need to find some. Uh, and of 
course I want to use the net gun. But I want to find some proper target. Can you pick up the damn shrimp? What is wrong with you, man? I don't really want that mallet. Okay. Uh, if these knuckleheads would get closer to one another, that would make my job better. Of course, they're not gonna do that. Why in the hell would they bother? So the reason why, I don't know, I'm going after the jellyfish again. Even though there's no scripted event for it, let's go with the shock baton. I'll have to pick up the rope, of course. Then leave some of the seahorses behind so they can tell the others about me. There's still something that needs to be done, like one quest for the jellyfish, where I'm supposed to destroy something uh, in regards to them, but I don't know what the hell is it or how the heck to do it. So, uh, Marine Eel can be only picked up at nighttime, so that won't be a thing right now. I did see a lot of shrimp, and there's a lot of agar. And as that is the part of uh, meals, I of course want to grab that as well. I'm picking up the components or the parts because I've just used up like all of them. And... Okay, yes, these diving gloves should be able to pick up sea urchins. Sea urchin sushi, just the thought of it makes me drool. Yeah, so finally we're able to pick up uh, the gloves. Okay, these two knuckleheads over here are kind of bugging out. And I want the shrimp because shrimp on this, uh, on shrimp sushi should be valuable. I'll leave the seahorse. A lot of jellyfish. Seriously, where was all this jellyfish the day before when I actually needed them? Yeah, I'll take the scooter and I will take the sea urchin. There's even more sea urchins. The reason why I want to pick up more of them is so that we can potentially even upgrade the quality of the sea urchin sushi. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I know that I should be trying to reach my objective, but the benefit here is that I can grab a crap ton of uh, shrimp and they don't really take up that much space in your inventory, which is absolutely amazing. And if I would know uh, which goddamn fish is it that I need for some of the recipes, and if I can also grab some Kidding me, seriously? Still not able to pick up what I need? Really? I don't really want to deal with the two lionfish. Or this knucklehead. I have plenty of that meat already as is. Shark would be absolutely amazing. And of course, predatory species won't do jack spawn. can't make this stuff up. I misfired. I really don't want to pick up that fish. There's a current here, so I don't know if this is the most optimal way. To use. Buffer fish. I want to pick up the seahorse, but I don't want to touch the damn spiky stuff. See? 
That's a brand new species? Ah, crap. Don't get me wrong, I really do want to get the damn tiger shark. But... I don't know, maybe depending on the weapon. That's not what I need. gonna happen yeah he's not gonna oh I had to try okay shouldn't you go back up or out of your depth here and this knucklehead is over here it's gonna be causing problems there is a rope, but it's not worth picking up if I know that that thing is down there. Don't have a way to deal with it. I think we went through here, right? Or maybe not. I don't think this is the right way. Maybe it's just an alternative route, who knows. Okay, purple starfish, yes. Even though we don't really use starfish for sushi, I don't care. Uh, yeah, swap it. Launcher. That's an MSLG type launcher. Whoops, the technical jargon something something, and then he just goes away. That pile of rocks moving around. Is it the hostile pile of rocks? That's that damn octopus! I think I'll need to grab the rock and dump it over here to get there. Of course. Ooh. That's enough, Octopus, from last time. It's spraying the ink again. I won't let you get away this time. Just you wait. The Octopus returns. I don't know if that was enough to break through. Uh, there's a shovel. And now what happens if I try to shoot this knucklehead? I can swear to god it looks like this thing has some goddamn... Uh, energy shield or something. Let's see how you deal with this one. Spider crab! Ah, suck on that. Olive oil. Nice. I still need salt, and I need to figure out how to get rice. Uh, 
probably will need to pick up more stones. Work it on. Great, the path is clear. Just wait, you octopus. Uh, hold on. Eh, let's grab the ammo. Yeah, I might if I'll get to the tiger shark use the grenade launcher in order to deal with that. I'm not really sure what's it gonna do with the meat, but okay. Hey, how dare you spray ink twice? I won't let you get away with this. Please. Ask Bancho for Takoyaki! is so powerful. Ah, uh, it ran away again. It's definitely quick. Another uh, ambulance. Look out. It's always leave something behind. It might not be as bad as I thought. Let's go grab it, see what it is, and see where we can get now. It seems to be artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface. It's gonna be another fancy thing. One of the artifacts is giving me this uh, left control boost, which I can keep spamming over and over again. I don't really know if, like, this is not a hostile species, so... to get the ghost shark yeah I'm not gonna try to pronounce that Latin name I'm sorry but I already make a whole bunch of mistakes as it is in English alone so please don't ask me to do that thank you let's crash or crunch another crap Sniper rifle. I need the skull, not the bones or the feet. Oh, come on. I know you want to get cooked. This is just torture. This is why the net gun is so much better. Okay, salt. Nice. And now I just committed to this, so I feel like I need to finish it. Crap. This has a really annoying mini game. Seriously? Two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, like every time you pick up something like this, you have to figure out how the hell does it exactly work. And that can be quite problematic. Some jellyfish. Pick up the crown seahorse. Thank you. Oh, grenade launcher is definitely new. And thanks to the upgraded diving suit, I'm now not being crushed. Ah, oh, you're back, human. I was afraid you've been eaten by a frilled shark on the way back. She talks like someone I know. I think I'll be able to pull out the steak if I use the diving gloves from Dr. Bacon, who lives on land. Bacon. <laughs> In our language, that means sounds like spoiled whale meat. <laughs> uh, wait a moment. Let me try and pull. Okay, I don't really need that whip. But there were two locations from which I will need to pull this uh, steak. And I don't know if I need to start off with the first one over there at the top. Yeah. 
brilliant idea. It was effective, but not enough. I think one more attempt might cut it. Human, there's another rock pile over there. Uh, there's no movable device over there. I'll have to go check it out first. Let's see if we uncovered anything in here. You know, when in Rome, exploration is rewarded, all that jazz. Nope, it just seems to create a sort of shortcut for me. That's about it. I do wonder what we will be able to make out of that uh, crab. Spider crab. It seems tasty. Refill ammo. Or maybe I should try to shoot some of these knuckleheads first. really sure what sort of quality of food I'll be able to deal with. How are the jellyfish which are electrocuting everything not immune to that same thing? It's kind of ironic, isn't it? Yeah, he's not gonna be able to catch up. Or mustard. Uh, how the hell do I have to get there? I think I went somewhere through here, right? Oxygen, we're still holding steadily. Some canned food. And we don't have a cat yet, so for whom am I getting this stuff? Tickle a few more hits. I need the pickaxe in order to deal with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We are already at 89 kilos. Holy crap, I did not even see this knucklehead. There's a stake in that back. If I pull that out, that should do the trick. Okay, let's try to hit the red spot. beneath that spot it would just destroy the whole damn thing wow human good we have a path you're more useful than you look the village is very close coming through the hole you just made i'll go ahead wait i can leave now can't i would you listen to yourself aren't you worried for rama besides i have a request for you so i'd like you to come to the village with us the sea people village me Yes, there's a reason I came all the way up to Human Sea. I have a request. Okay. Let's go for it. You know what? I, 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 I cannot. I want to try one thing. It might not work. <laughs> Suck on that. <laughs> Yeah, I believe that worked. Oh crap, I should have maybe tried to pick up one of the rocks and drop it on the damn fish. It might have done the same job and uh, leave the fish at better quality. Come to think of it, I'm not really sure if I'll be ever able to catch the spider crab and maintain the higher quality because if I crash or like crack the shell every damn time with the heavy stone, yeah, that's not gonna fix anything, huh? Damn it! 
Oh, we'll have to see. Now you give me a pickaxe. Okay, the reason why I'm excited and why I'm picking up the pickaxe is because I wanted to pick up whatever that damn crystal over there is. We are overcumbered, but I still should be able to carry that resource. So let's go for it because this is like the second time I came here. And this time I'll be able to actually tap into it. Whatever the hell it is, I want it. It's shiny. Opal. Okay, nice. Or Opal, or uh, how do you guys pronounce it in English? Why am I going through here? There's just a bunch of angry jellyfish. If that's even a thing. I definitely want to hold on to the uh, grenade launcher. Although I'm overcumbered, so... Well, that sucks. Uh, so if I would want to go after the tiger shark, I would need to maintain the grenade launcher, probably. Not really sure what sort of effect does it have on the quality of meat. Thank God I upgraded the diving suit because, yeah, we were already struggling at 230 meters. Oh. Uh, it's really, I'm getting really spooky vibes. Whoa. What the hell is that? Something just moved past me. Human, go ahead and be our lookout. Hey. But it's so dark! I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Uh, and I'm overcumbered, which is even more problematic. Inspect the village access road. I don't even know which way I'm supposed to go. Is this the village access road? You sense the dangerous creature presence enter. Do I have a choice? Who else is gonna deal with this? Oh crap, I'm gonna have to hold on to those anchors. Probably it's gonna try to suck me in or something weird. What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? Yeah, I'm gonna like stick closer to the anchors. The vibrations again. Mm. Something has to be here. Why did he tell me to come alone? The problem is I'm overcumbered. So that slows down my movement. Yeah. Wolf eel. Great. Mm. What is that? There, these are wolf eels. Why is it so big? I don't think I can run. Oh, whatever. Crap. Yeah, that's exactly why it is. there is. I need ammo. Oh shit. Ammo. 
able to take out of this wolf eel. <sighs> How can a wolf eel be so big? Uh, I was just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. <laughs> You're stronger than I expected, human. Now, you see that big gate over there? That's the entrance to the village. Take the lead, human. Yeah, first I want to take a look at this. I'm going to be overcumbered as hell. Wolf Eel Gill. I'm, I'm taking Wolf Eel Gill out of its tail. That makes zero sense. Okay, whatever. Um, so this seems to be the village. Seems to be like an Asian inspired Atlantis almost. Phew, we're finally back in the village entrance passageway. Ramo, you have a key, right? Oh no, I left the key back at the... Just kidding. <laughs> I have it here in my bag. I thought you would ask me to take you again. Let's insert the key and back to the village. Thank God, because if I would have to go back to that key and then come back here, I would just probably shoot them with that grenade launcher my hand so. That would not be funny. Damn. Sea People Village. Wow, so this is... Haha, <laughs> that's right. This is the Sea People Village we live in. Do you think we would have a place like this under the sea? Wait! How did the human get in here? Huh? Rama? Suwam? Were you kidnapped by this human? Tenzin awaits you. He's lost sleep worrying about you. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Haha, uh -huh. allow me. I rescued Rama after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it. Just take me to my father. I'll be faster for me to explain things to him. Undersea civilization. I love the guy's mustache. And the fact that it does not flow in the water, but it keeps the shape. And only when he plays with the mustache with his hand, it changes or does something. That that's just hilarious to me. Oh my goodness, Ramu, my daughter, you were Where were you, my precious girl? Your daddy, your daddy was worried out of his wits. Are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you, my daughter? Wait, who's this next to you? I thought you brought a blue manatee, but this is human. God freaking damn it. That's it, I'm going on a diet. Seafood diet. Seafood and I eat food. <laughs> what is going on here? I like an explanation. You know that strange thing that has been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors and the ice melting of the divine tree. Of course, Ramo, I've been looking into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. Well, the ancient texts have all been lost and we ne need to figure out the methods again. We can't simply keep waiting for them. The humans are selfish, but they have good technology. We need their help. No, not the humans. They can be trusted. They dirtied our home and even haunted our kind to put on display. They're wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't ally with like stuff. I think the tremors will end with that damn eel being gone. Another huge tremor. See, something really bad will happen if we don't do anything. I love that mustache. When I was taken by giant squid in human waters, the Dave here helped me out. Swamp said he was the one who did that earlier. Try asking him, not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well, even 
Even if I wanted this, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans, everyone would find that hard to believe. If this man can gain the village's trust, I'll consider your suggestion. The village trust, how does he go about winning that? How about asking around to see what they need? Alright, since today's long trip must have been pretty tiring, human, come back here tomorrow. You'll have to listen to the villagers' requests. Wait, I didn't even agree yet. How am I supposed to come all the way here? A request from the sea people. Chapter 3. Since you say you helped my daughter, Ramo, I suppose it would be fitting for my people to ignore your needs, even if you're human. Use this. What is this? It looks like an ordinary mirror. This sea people mirror, once installed, will let you instantly travel to this village. Wow! Is such thing a possibility? The various, the various disasters have caused our decline. But our ancestors were a very advanced civilization once. Right now, all we have left is few of their relics, sadly. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village whenever you need. It will recognize your face, so only you'll be able to use it. It also operates from the light of the divine tree of the sun, so you can only use it during the day. Oh, and I'll give you a village map to use. It'll help you find the villagers. Hmm, a teleportation device. That's pretty amazing. I'll have to go back to the boat with this mirror from now. Yeah, let's just have to hope that Tiger... Or what's his name will not try to sell it or some BS. But yeah, awesome. Yeah, giant wolf eel is also 999 centimeters. And I think it was much bigger than the previous boss we fought. Wolf eel tail meat. Damn, rank 99. Uh... Okay, awesome. Fried egg, jellyfish, bunch of these guys, purple sea urchin. Mm. I started to have hiccups, which is not great. I don't know what happened. They just suddenly started, so. <laughs> God damn it. Octopus weapon charm. A mysterious weapon charm left behind by the octopus. Maybe something cool will happen if it's attached to a gun. Extra 15% of gun base damage added. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> no. I guess I'll install the Sea People mirror on the boat. Hmm. He said I could go to Sea People Village with this during the day, right? I should go to tomorrow. Hmm. Oh no, look at the time. Bunch of sushi must have opened already. Oh. I should drop by and check if anything of note happened. Crap, I was really hoping I would not have to come here. Mm. Uh, looks like I arrived too late. Mm. I should do a little cleanup. Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? Yeah, oh, my work ended just now, and I was passing by. I saw the lights were on despite the hour. Mm. Banjo seems to have gone home already. Okay. He looked a bit tired recently. I'm worried he might fall ill. Oh, <laughs> Even so, I'm glad to see him working so hard again like this. Yeah. I'm sorry about the hiccups. I don't know why they started all of a sudden. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, come on, think of it. I heard he once gave up cooking because of a certain incident. Yes, back then I thought he was gone for good. Okay. I wonder what it was about. Well, it's nothing that secretive. I simply avoided mentioning it because of his presence, just in case it's still a sore spot for Boncho. I'm thirsty. Can you first give me a glass of beer?
I'm sorry, I'm trying to deal with these hiccups. Run, Forrest, run! Nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. It's especially nice to have a view of the sea at night like this as I drink. I'll tell you now a bit about Bancho and why he quit cooking for a while. It was 12 years ago. This is the Dugong Hotel. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a five-star hotel with both traditions and long history. It looks a bit old, yes, but at the time, the quality of food and service has been newly improved. Yoshi, do you have a moment? What is it, manager? Well, a troublesome customer left a reservation. A troublesome customer? Do you know the actress Lewis Craftworth? She, she made a reservation at our hotel. Hotel manager Lewis Craftworth. Lewis Craftworth, she was leading actress with long career. Her role as a spy in one of the most famous works, the 42nd floor, was extremely impressive. She appears to have hit a slight slump as her new movies haven't been doing very well. The manager had spent his entire life at the hotel. It looks like he was living embodiment of its history. He had lots of knowledge about the etiquette used by the upper class of each country, and he was very used to servicing those of a high rank. Seriously, what the hell is up with this hiccup? Many VIPs saw his services. Our Dugong Hotel is a luxury hotel with many years of history and tradition. In the past, we had nobles staying in our accommodations, and many notable films were shot here. Many people seeking that sort of old era nostalgia used our services, and we had very high standards for the services we provided. I've heard that Lewis Crawford can be very picky, but we are a very high quality hotel with history and tradition on our side. I don't think there will be any issue if she comes. Haha, <laughs> so there it is. Nobody can beat the level of service and staff at this hotel. We've won many prizes as well. Just one thing, you haven't heard the rumors about her, have you? The rumors? Take a look at this. This is... She's famous not only as a chef, but a gourmet. Damn, that's a blurb she published in the travel magazine recently. Huh, it appears to be a description of her travels, but I've just... It's just her bashing on the hotel she stayed at. Gloria hotels are the best of the best, and yet she wrote such a scathing review. Bringing out the bad does make a person look more professional. Her writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yoshi? Uh, decline reservation, of course. How about we refuse the reservation? We don't really need to take the customer that will purposely try to hurt our reputation, do we? If we do that, she'll probably use an even more crafty way to get at us. She'll send our messages saying that we lack confidence, that we're picky about who we accept, and so on. We'll take the reservation, but we also need to think of ways to satisfy her. I suppose you're right. Do you have any ideas, Yoshi? Our hotel strength, our, our long history and tradition, as well as our high quality service. That way we can satisfy her well, involve making good use of these things. Did she reserve a suit? Yes, it's a suit. We'll need a clean room and service that match her taste. We'll treat her as a VIP. I'll look into the drinks and amenities she prefers and place them as I also check on the seat of the rooms and about who will receive her. I suppose I'll have to do that. Thank you. There's no one that can handle such a tricky customer except you, with your long experience with many VIPs. I'm more tense than usual. 
and above the meals, we can offer her the buffet for breakfast, but we'll also need to rely or to ready a dinner course. Uh, dinner at our hotel, Italian or French? French? We have fantastic French food at our hotel. It's the pride and joy of Dugong Hotel, with a Michelin star head chef at the helm. But you came to the most inconvenient time. Our head chef is in France on a culinary research trip. The sous chef has taken his place for now, and he cooks wonderfully as well. However, our upcoming customer is a very difficult one. Japanese. Dukong Hotel's Japanese food has never been its strong suit. We only served udon or simple donburi. We've been making exponential progress, however, after we hired Bancho. We've grown quite dramatically. Bancho is famous for his ability to reinterpret the use of ingredients, and his food was recently featured in an overseas magazine. He might be our dark horse. That means Japanese is likely to be our best choice. Bancho hasn't really proven himself yet. Do you think it'll be alright? Hmm. Bancho's skills is indisputable. However, our great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is letting people try new flavors. That is what drives his creative creativity, of course. Course, but this time it won't really serve us. Come on, Hiccup, stop! I'm trying everything, like holding my breath, trying to drink water, nothing. I, I really don't know what the hell is going on. This is ridiculous. We're dealing with the infamous Louis Crawford, after all. I see, that's a good point. However, I think the best we can do right now is try and persuade Doncho. I agree. Best of luck, Yoshi. Doncho, are you here? Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here. That's good. I've come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look, all you want is it, just an ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Bancho was a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared one day, uh, handing us a resume and explaining he'd been learning in Japan. All the sushi establishment listed in the resume were top tier, but Bancho never stayed in one place for long. He told me that he moved one each time after learning enough. The manager had a long talk with him, and then left the operation of the Japanese food team to him. He could always be found in the kitchen busy with something, day in day out, to research food on his own when there were no customers. He hated to be interrupted. Were you practicing? Well, yes. Training means thousands and tens of thousands of attempts. Practice without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. I see. I heard that you never skip research and practice, Bancho. It relieved me to see you so hard at work. What do you mean you're relieved? Bancho, would you be willing to try servicing a VIP? Servicing a VIP. That's right. We have an important guest who will increase our reputation, or rather who might send it plummeting to the ground. Her name is Louis Crapper. She's an actress that's infamous hard to please, and also a gourmet reviewer. It's been about a year since you joined the Dugong Hotel. Our Japanese food team, which was never very strong, received much attention in a short span of time. And we can't deny that you contributed to this. Your contribution to this was great. However, this means that we also get customers who want special treatment. So you mean to say that I could try and please this picky woman, Louis Crawford? Yes, this is important, as Dugong Hotel's reputation lies in its balance. Hmm, what do you say? For me, cooking has always been a battle with myself, not with others. Making perfect food has always been my goal, 
and that won't change no matter who I cook for. I simply use the best ingredients available in the current season and the most suitable recipe. Will that be okay with you? Alright, we'll leave the individual dishes in your hand, Boncho. However, I would like to offer input in the methods of servicing our guests. Alright, you're the expert, Miss Yoshi, when it comes to servicing food. Uh, sushi course, Kaiseki course, I have no idea. Uh, Kaiseki is traditional Japanese dining method and uh, uh, or, uh, something du jour, right? Uh, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it correctly, it's French. Uh, or or du jour? So someone has to correct me in the comment section, I, I don't want to google it right now. Small dishes, sashimi, soup, grilled food, and steamed food are brought out in order for by rice. It allows you to taste many kinds of food and is regarded as the quintessential Japanese meal. What do you think of the kisaki course? It's traditional. Kisaki is a form of art which utilizes many dishes to express a unified theme. That means using soup, grilled food, steamed food, and deep fried food to express a theme. Doing all that is impossible in the current kitchen. Uh, alright. Since it's to be a dinner, I think a course would be better than a single dish. That means it'd probably be better to employ a western course format instead. Though it'll be a bit different from the traditional method, I think I could add soup du jour. Wait, is soup du jour like the soup of the day? Am I pronouncing it correctly now? No? Prob probably not. I, I don't know. Sashimi? Y you know, they, they don't show you how this is pronounced when you watch Kitchen Nightmares with Gordon Ramsay. So, <laughs> it's probably my damn fault. Side dishes, sushi, tempura, and desserts to the course. What do you think? Not bad. So, what will you make for each dish? There's the soup to begin with. Yes, I think that will be fine up to the sushi. The pearl is next. I suppose shrimp would be the most logical choice. Uh, it's difficult to create any impact with shrimp. We've kept everything pretty normal so far, so this is where we add a little spice. I've been researching this very topic. How does something like this sound? Oh, you must have a good idea. Let's hear it. Shark. I'm thinking of dish that uses shark head. What? A shark? Can shark be eaten? Sharks are a very tasty fish. Well, technically they're not fish. Uh, they don't have skeleton. Uh, they have only cartilage as their structure. Except of their jaw. That's the only actual bone in their body. And their teeth. This is the time of year when they grow fat, boosting the flavor. The meat of the cheek is particularly has a lovely chewy texture, which reminds you of both ordinary meat and fish. But shark is too exotic of an ingredient. Couldn't we use something a little more widely consumed? Especially considering this is Louis Crawford. Good food, good food will impress anyone. Anyone who takes a bite will recognize the food for what it is. That is the best possible food that can be found around here in the current season. Uh, I'll give this some thought. I'm not sure if it will be okay. I can't help to think it's not that great of an idea, Pancho. Hmm. If you serve that dish and things go sideways, the consequences won't affect you alone. Both the manager and I will also take part of the blame. After all, she's coming to the Dugong Hotel, not to a restaurant operated by you. A hotel must seek to provide the most restful and enjoyable experience to its guests. Nothing can be allowed to mar that experience, as the hotel will stand to lose by it. But there's no guarantee she'll hate it. She'll know from taking just a bite that it's one of the greatest foods. There's always an exception to the rule. She's an extremely picky person after all. What a pity, I understand. I'll go with shrimp tempura then. Though it can't be compared to shark. This way, Miss Crawford. Thank you. This is the chef who will be preparing your food today, Bancho. 
He's younger than I expected. I was hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Oh my, tight lipped, are we? Perhaps my looks leave you at loss for words. <laughs> <laughs> he seems a little tense. He's still quite skilled, chef, I assure you. I'll be looking forward to the food then. I remember the service here being quite alright for an old hotel. I like the carpet and the paintings on the walls as well. Furnishings at Gloria Hotel have a kitsch quality to them, and I don't like that. But to think there's no gym, that's a bit of a shocker. I need to exercise daily to maintain my figure. It was our intention that you stay or uh, be here as restful as possible. Everyone has their preferred way of resting. Well, the bathing facilities were good, so I'll content myself with that. So, what's for dinner? A Japanese course meal. Here's the course menu. Steamed snapper and yam soup steeped at pickled olive flounder fence. Uh... I, I, I guess? This is a steamed dish composed of grilled snapper and roe, which was then uh, steamed, garnished with ground yam. The soup features rich flavor of fish. Mm, is this Japanese soup? It's got a bland flavor, coupled with a spicy scent. Quite interesting. This is the flavor of the shichimi. There is a tiny bit of flavoring provided by a condiment made from seven different spices. And the next dish is... So the tempura and dessert are left. What's the tempura? Don't tell me it's shrimp. The shrimp that's commonly served with rice. The dessert's no doubt but usual fruit. I suppose I've tasted basically everything. It's hard to decipher her reaction. Have we succeeded? How do you like it? Are you happy with our Japanese food? Well, it's about as good as I expected it to be, I suppose. I suppose I could come here and eat every now and then, but why bother coming to a hotel to eat food that's quite average? <laughs> Even so, I'm sure our food is better than that of most other restaurants. The snapper soup or something was pretty interesting, but that's it. It was just a fishy soup with a spicy aftertaste. To think you added sticky yam on top, huh? I don't really like the texture. Oh dear, it seems Japanese food isn't all that to your liking. Ignorant of the fact we served you Japanese, my mistake. Please accept my apologies. Whatever, it wasn't that good, but it was healthy at least. This hotel doesn't even have a gym, so I suppose the food should be healthy at the very least. Huh. Uh, may I have a word? Bajo! Allow me to introduce myself again. I'm the master chef who works here, Bancho. I'm not much of a speaker, so I've been listening quietly. I find it impossible to maintain my silence now, however. Oh my! Do you have something to tell me? Apparently you're supposed to have better food than anyone else, right? Now now, Bancho, Miss Lewis here is just... It is most definitely my fault for failing to provide food that satisfies you. Will you not give me a chance to make up for my mistake? What? Oh, well, gosh. I'm a very busy woman. What you witness today aren't my real skills. I'll serve you food that can objectively be called good. Bajo, you can't be talking about... Huh? So you're saying you have something else you think will satisfy me? Alright, I'll wait. But remember, my time is valuable. Your food had better be amazing. Bancho, you can't be thinking of... What is it, Miss Yoshi? Is there something I'm missing? All done. This is whole roasted shark head. It looks like you dropped it into something. I don't know if that's tempura, but... Oh my god! What is this? You fried the whole head? It's an amazing dish. The meat in the cheeks hasn't been cut out. I chose to fry the head whole to preserve the supple texture. You'll never taste something like this anywhere else. It's a high quality dish made using the best possible ingredients. Get out of my sight! How can you call this food? What are you saying? Just take a bite, I guarantee you'll be transported to heavens. I'm not happy about this. Is this what service is like at Dugong Hotel? 
It's it's my fault. I apologize. Now, Bancho, Yoshi, you apologize as well. I'm sorry, Miss Lewis. I should have been more vigilant. Looks are not all there is to food. Why do you refuse to even try it, Miss Lewis? Bancho, no, it's not the time to. I find this highly unpleasant. Is this some kind of hidden camera prank or punishment? You'll pay for treating me this way. Don't think I'll just let you get away with it. I'm leaving. Cancel my suit. Charge me a uh, cancellation fee if you wish. I don't care. After that, Bancho quit his job at the hotel and left saying he needed to train. But I believe it wasn't much of a cooking itself as the ingredient and cooking method that he researched. Mm. I see. Still, I admire him a little for not giving up on the belief that he's going on the right path. I suppose it was his stubborn side of him that allowed him to attain his current level of skill. Mm. Working with you now, he even started social media. I feel something has changed about him, and I like it. I think you're good for him. Please continue to get along. I'll do my best to help Bancho focus on his cooking. It's Dr. Bacon! Or Professor. Oh Dave, you weren't around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't get in touch with you via the radio. I don't... I was at the Sea People Village yesterday. You, you what? What happened? Well, you see... You say it's scary. Then she talked to her father. Then this idiot said a bunch of lies. And now I have to go and pick a bunch of quests at the village. I see! I envy you! I do! What a lucky experience! I'm not sure how I can help, but it's clear that they have problems to deal with. Why don't you talk with the residents first? I'd love to go as well, but... As you said, only one person can use the Sea People mirror. What a pity. <laughs> what an unexpected turn of events! If you need any of my tools, don't forget to check out the Cobra shop. Mm. Yes, I'll have to use the Sea People Mirror first to visit their village. You can use the mirror to get immediately into Sea People Village. The mirror is solar powered, so it's unable to be used at night. And with that okay. said, some kind of mail is here. Mm -hmm. Should I check it? Uh, Blue Hole Tourism Committee. Hello residents, Blue Hole Tourism Board here. The Blue Hole is getting more and more well known. And interesting is growing. In three days, a yacht party will be held and a lot of wealthy people will likely come. If there's a restaurant that can handle preparing high-class tuna dishes, this could significantly increase sales. We ask your, for your support until it becomes the best attraction in the world. Blue Hole Tourism Committee. Well, I don't know how oh. to get tuna. Dave, have you read the email you just got? <laughs> yes, it says that there will be a tuna party soon. Oh. Right, and tuna is Sushi's best friend. You can sell them for a good profit. Oh. I haven't seen tuna in the blue hole for a while. It's been begging of tuna season now. It's the beginning of tuna season now. <laughs> we will be able to make a fortune using this party. <laughs> Uh, but isn't it difficult to catch tuna? I heard that they are very fast swimmers. Uh, that's why investments is needed. In the afternoon, I will bring a tool that can catch tuna. I will see you later then. Well, with that said, it's gonna be it for this one. I mean, it's two hours long as it is. And what, did, did we do two days again? <laughs> Barely? God damn, but yeah, quite a lot of stuff, quite a lot of story. We visited the Sea People's Village, we've done a lot. Unfortunately, I missed out on the service, so the profits were lost. Hopefully, we will not suffer from that, but yeah. It's gonna be it for this episode of Dave the Diver. I really do appreciate you for all the views and the continued support to the channel. I'm currently trying to work on the 
uh, bigger content for the channel, so please be patient with me. And in the meantime, check out the channel and uh, see what's up. Click the notification bell. We do fun things here. I publish content on a weekly base, so you never know. And with that said, I'm going to wish you a pleasant rest of the day, and hopefully I will see you all at the next one. Thank you all for watching, and bye-bye for now.